And I'm doing this quick video on Wendy Williams. As she um, describes her experience at Candy's um, Sex Dungeon Tour. And according to Wendy, she says, um, based on what she saw, you know, with the sex show and all her um, sex toys, she says, when Portia said that Candy had a sex dungeon, she said she believed it based on what she saw when she went to the sex dungeon show in New York. But she said, but it was, she said, even though she is open-minded, She's not that open-minded because she said, um, you know, she having Riley at home and, and the fact that um, she, um, she said, Kenya uses the C word. She said, they use the C word a lot. The C word that ends with a T. She said that was used a lot, and and basically that was basically too much for her. So she said, so she left. She said, but she stayed long enough to get research. She stayed long. Oh, don't know why that coming up. She says she stayed long enough to get research for hot topics. So, so, what do I think? I think she kind of somewhat throwing a little, you know, trying to throw a little bit of positivity at to Portia's way, because you know what she said about Portia's show, she didn't really like it, and you know that, that isn't it. If you're saying that, if she's saying that, that negative stuff about Portia, um, what Nene called uh, three commercials, if that's the case, she had 12 commercials. I don't know how many episodes Candy had. So everybody who had who had these um, separate shows about them, they were all they were all commercials. If this what Portia had, what Portia did, but the bottom line is Portia wasn't selling anything. She wasn't selling anything. It was just you know, of um three episodes about 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 her. And Dennis about um, the family coming together and you know, working working out the situation and then the baby's delivery. So those are the three things that I saw from that. And I don't see it as a commercial. Now Cynthia the episodes that Cynthia is on, though, I can see those as commercials. Because Cynthia, one episode she did with Kim Fields, with the shades, that was a commercial. Because she's selling something. She's selling her sunglasses. And she did the wine thing where she just disrespected Nene and didn't let her know that Kenya was coming. Like Nene said, they were just not. She don't really have a big problem with Kenya and all of that. It's, a, it, it, it's just that what I see in that situation is that Nene didn't believe Kenya was pregnant from what I heard and she doubted the pregnancy. Therefore, Cynthia tells me, tells Kenya that now Kenya has a bone to pick with Nene for not believing she was pregnant. 
So with her having a bone to pick with Nini, Nini already can bone fight with Portia. And so I don't know if we don't think she was having a fault with nobody else. And then Cynthia, and then yeah, she having a bone, she having a bone fights with Portia. Then she having to deal with Greg meanness being sick, but all of that on top of that. Then the closet thing comes up after all of that. But the thing problem was, I think the I think the thing with Cynthia, I don't know if it is, if the party is Cynthia's um wine cellar party came after the closet thing, but I think it came before. But then again, with Cynthia and the closet thing. Yeah, before that, they had, um, Cynthia had another thing that she was having. <coughs> another thing <coughs> that she was having. And she, and Kenya came to doubt me. And then for what I didn't really see it, but I did saw the clippings of it. For what I understand, Kenya was already let go from season 12 for not allowing um, production to film her wedding, so having a secret wedding and not allowing them to film it. So she got fired off of season 11 for that. But she comes to Cynthia's events, and now Cynthia already done mention to Kenya that the okay, and I'm going to cut off both black. She already done mentioned to Kenya that Nene about Nene not believing that believing she was pregnant. So Kenya got a bone pick. From what I understand, Kenya tried to get that little beef thing going on and Nene wasn't having it. So from what I understand, after that Kenya was banned from the set. Because she tried to get that going with Nene and Nene wasn't having it. And Nene is her dealing with what she's dealing with that she wasn't trying to have that beef, she wasn't trying to be going back and forth with Kim, because she was already going back and forth with Portia. She all, even though um, Portia wasn't here, because she wouldn't have that beef, she wouldn't have that big blowout with Portia. So she had to work on this situation with Portia that ended up blowing up again, because I don't believe Nene ever got over the issue with Portia anyway. And what her issue is with Portia, I don't see it as an issue. I see it as he's basically... Even though Nene is the Queen B because she is the OG, she's the one to begin. Portia is, I, I won't call Portia the Queen B, but Portia is definitely the Queen in season 11. And I think that's basically what Nene issue is with Portia, which is not a big deal, but sometimes envy can turn into something huge. That just kills friendship, especially that body shame of a pregnant person while she's pregnant and she had the baby. I don't care what goes down. I don't care what your issues is, you don't body shame a pregnant woman. I just, I just don't see where that ever was supposed to happen. So that's the situation with, with her and Portia. That I don't know if that's for the show to keep it, to keep us looking at it or what, but anyway, that's that. And then with Kenya coming in trying to do what she was trying to get back on the show, Nene wasn't having it. So she used Cynthia to get back on the show. And it used Cynthia to irritate Nene for what I heard. I forgot the guy's name. Um, basically, Kenya, Nene tried to be nice. Kenya gave her dust. I know if you come to some place and you think you're there for that person, and I'm trying to be cordial with you, and you being, and you ignoring me, giving me dust, that would irritate my soul. So I believe Kenya irritated Nene's soul when she did what she did. And then Cynthia not letting her know that she was there, and then Candy setting it up to make sure she got there, all to try to help Cynthia stay on the show, because Cynthia don't have a storyline. What Cynthia does is sells her product. She doesn't have a husband. 
Oh, she had with her product to sell, so they allow her to do that. But then I got some, I'm going to do the video. I got the guy name of, um, oh, because I know Cynthia. Well, Cynthia got a million dollar cut, pay cut. People didn't even try to say she didn't. But, but all the information came out, shows that said she got a pay cut. I didn't know what the pay cut was or the situation. But the bottom line is she got a million dollar pay cut. She get just a little bit more than what Marlo gets, which is, um, she gets a little bit more than what Marlo gets, which is, um, 500000 And I think Marlo got a big raise. Marlo got a 100000 raise, so Marlo's up to 350000 now. And Cynthia went from $1.8 million all the way down to five hundred thousand. So that's a million. That's oh, that's one point three million on discount not to get fired off the show. And for what I heard, she promised that she gonna get married, she could do all this on the show. That remains to be seen. I'll see if that remains to be seen because I just don't get the feel that Mike is all into her like that. The man is um I don't know. He might I don't I don't know if he's like Dennis and Portia where Dennis want that platform to make even more money. And this man make it this man makes money. But that's basically what Candy I um, mean what Wendy had to say about Candy. And she let it be known that she believes Portia. She believes Portia. I'm gonna look at my notes. She says she believes she believes when Portia says Candy has a sex dungeon. And she believed that based on what she saw, she had a sex dungeon. Because how you got all that together if it's something that's brand spanking new. She has these um, sex toys. She has the sex scenes of all the I call it the sex show. People just come naturally and do that. So Candle would have what to do. I got a fan on this. Oh. Oh, no. Come on, 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 Come Anyway, um, anyway, Wendy says, um, based on what she saw at, at, um, Candy, um, Sex Dungeon Tour, that she believes Portia when she says Candy has a sex dungeon. She may not have had it to the extent that she have it now. As far as this tool go, but she had a sex she had a sex dungeon because she had threesomes. And now they're talking about a foursome. I'm like, okay. I've been saying this sex this sex dungeon tool was over the top was just too, basically too much sex. You go on a tour selling sex. We might as well be having beauty pack because that's all they do is sell sex. Sexy bodies. Basically the same thing. These girls are dressed up in these costumes. The beauty pageant 
this is the deal dressed up in costumes, baby suits, whatever. And I heard they're going to be getting away from that. I don't know. But either way, this is um the look on our Wendy's face. That is too much. <laughs> Sex for this is a C word, a C word that ends with a T. <laughs> uh, and I just went in. Eh. But anyway, that's it for this video. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.